Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great and today we are back with another big update for the Garden of Eyes mod. As we are awaiting any news about the DLC, we've been hard at work to try to revamp and overhaul the game in many ways. And our most recent update, which will be released tonight, includes the new Raya Lucaria overhaul. Now, the idea is that Raya Lucaria was taken over by Perceptor Carol, and he has his own entire story that we have discussed a little bit about in the previous Odin video, which is now finally included in the game and you can fight him, and the amazing thing is now we have all of the custom music that we have created for the Garden of Eyes mod in the mod so that you can experience them and fight them yourself. Now you will notice that Raya Lucaria looks very different. Uh, all of the glintstone is being corrupted by the old blood, you'll find new enemies, you will fight finally as one of the most awaited bosses that people wanted to fight in the mod which is Lady Maria, which we have as the blood hunter's apparition boss fight. And when you're exploring Raya Lucaria, you will notice that there is a lot of blood that's being sacrificed everywhere and it has become very gory of a place. And at the very top you will find Preceptor Carol. If you are a Bloodborne fan, you will get the reference of why he looks like this, but the idea is that Carol did not die in Bloodborne, but he was transported by Odin into the world of Elden Ring, where Odin is the primeval current and outer god. And if you want to watch the entire boss fight and all of that, make sure to check out that video right now. However, this is not the main focus of our video today, our main focus is Rinala. So where did Rinala go? So after this takeover happened, Rinala had to sort of relocate and we have chosen the best place for this which is Carrion Manor. And you will fight her in the Royal Moongazing Grounds. You will notice a little bit of a bubble shield and when you enter it's going to be triggering the cutscene. So for Rinala we have overhauled the entire boss fight, whether it's the design of Rinala where we have created a brand new design which sort of fits with the theme of the queen of the full moon and being one of the most powerful witches and sorceresses in the uh, world of Elden Ring. Far and wide. Of the last queen of Caria. Renala of the full moon. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. However, when remaking Rinala, there was one main concern we had to keep in mind. How to reconceptualize her summons in a way that is compatible both with her lore and her gameplay, while also reducing some of the problems the pseudo gank fight in vanilla presented. As such, the most reasonable perspective for us was to redo the means through which the summon system interacts with Rinala. So instead of the summons having free reign in the fight or false free reign as Rinala's summons in vanilla Elden Ring were still fairly restricted, now her summons act in a fashion similar to Melania's. They are by and large extensions of Rinala as opposed to another entity in the fight. This way, we managed to create a gang fight that is much more controlled and therefore manageable. When you first enter the fight, you will face against Rinala alone, and you need to familiarize yourself with her new moveset here. She got multiple new attacks, like Carrion Piercer, a modified version of the player spell that acts as a gap closer for her, allowing her to travel massive distances to reach the player, but it is interruptible with any attack in order to allow for counterplay similar to strafes, and another attack, which is Carrion Grandir, a close range, fast melee option for her that cannot be interrupted, but can be strafed. In giving Rinala hyper armor during it, we've also extended the punish window on it from often one hit to up to three safe consistent hits, as long as you punish the windup. She also gets two new spells, a medium range triple glintstone arc that if you run under you can low profile, and a sideways comet azure that can 360 around her that you either have to outspace or roll through. When she reaches 80% HP, this is when the first new summon appears which is Blight. Blight's inclusion comes from both as a reimagination of his role in the Grand Carrion scheme of things, as well as a re-implementation of the cut content in vanilla Elden Ring. His attack options are fairly manageable and easy to deal with. He does not have access to his entire moveset, and his summon times are consistent with Rinala's animations, so as not to create unmanageable overlaps. This Blight summon phase lasts about until 50%, when Rinala will get her second summon, Blight being replaced by a manifestation of her longing and pain birthed from the egg she so closely held dear, Radagon. Come, my beloved. He operates much like Blight, with the caveat that his attacks cover much more range, can be large AoEs that require specific roles, much like in the regular Radagon fight. 
and he's a lot more active in general. The cherry on top is that whenever Radagon isn't attacking, he can be instantly teleported in front of Rinala to parry any and all the projectiles aimed at her. Naturally, the counterplay to this is to manage your ranged attacks against Rinala whenever he is active doing attacks, ideally in an effort to incentivize more active play from ranged builds without making them completely ineffective. Now all of these things as well as many other updates like the musics being in-game, a completely redesigned HUD for the game, a brand new boss fight which is Astel Nebula of Chaos which we will be showcasing very very soon, all of that is available now in the early access for the Garden of Eyes mod. So make sure you go and subscribe to our Patreon to get early access to all of our mods alongside this one and many other ones and yeah, hope you all enjoy and I'll be seeing you later. Bye bye.